It was her calling long before she did it professionally. An Albuquerque educator has now come full circle after a lifetime of helping others understand the entire world around them. Ryan Laughlin shares why this teacher truly demonstrates the heart of New Mexico. Two sheets. There's an Albuquerque elementary school where one of the teachers inside does not have her name outside the door. Mrs. Shaver has been at this school for, well, ever since it opened. <laughs> Mrs. Leo Russell has some backup in her first grade class. How you doing? Good. She's my right hand man. So if I'm thinking it, she's usually doing it about five seconds later. 170, 180, 100 what? Right. Centella Shaver helps teach at Susie Reyes Marmon. She was the Native American that this school was named after. She started here in 1989. Miss Marmon told Laguna stories or legends long ago. Here at our new school, these stories are being told once again, teaching us about our past and giving us strength to build a bright and rewarding future. That's a different hairdo. <laughs> she says she was teaching her siblings long before she led her own classroom. Well, let's see. I'm the oldest of 10 children, so I taught most of my life. After graduating high school, she went to UNM to learn how to teach before getting her first official job. But it's not Miss Shaver's longevity that makes her different. It's because for more than the past decade, she's been doing this for free. So as a volunteer, I can do what I want to do, 2,100, and work with the kids. She retired <laughs> in 2009. Oh. There are a lot of volunteers oh, in APS schools, but... Like Centella, not very many. She is here every day. She comes early in the morning and she leaves after the kids leave. Uh, uh, uh. Go back and try again. Okay. That's why it's so much fun to come in to a first grade classroom, because they, they give you life. She admits. Some kids have rough lives. There are challenging days. Let's see, we had a little fight in the parking lot between parents. You know, it's like, why? Why do you do that? Your children are watching this. So you just don't know it. It's just sad. Challenges can be teaching opportunities. It's not all academics, and I want them to carry, you know, some of those lessons that we've learned in class with them into adulthood. As the seasons of life change, All right. Mrs. Leo Russell says this might be her last year teaching. Yeah, she says it is. Now, once again, it's hard to give up teaching. That's why I come in and play teacher with Susan. In which case, it will also be Miss Shaver's last year. It all comes down to the kids. Just wish you could help more. After decades in the classroom, her impact is hard to measure. She says, you had my son 19 years ago. Generations have learned from her. And she says, you learn. The kids teach her too. To accept them all. Life lessons we could all learn from. You feel the love coming from these kids. With this heart of New Mexico, I'm Ryan Laughlin.